Hello there and welcome back and today what we're going to do is go over a day night cycle. I've created a, we in the, our last video we looked at modifying a, a surface for a rain effect and in this case we're going to take that same surface and modify it for a day night cycle. So during the day we're not going to draw it, in the evening we'll make it a little bit darker over time uh, and highlight our character or some object that we might have to be able to, that's lit as well as uh, just going through and getting to the darkest part of the night. We'll also look at doing a transition from night to, to daytime and then look at adding different colors for the different lights. So in the, this case my character has a white uh, color to it and the torches have a yellow and then the, the fire pit has a red. This will also be, uh, so we get the transition to the daytime, and also be when we go into a room and come back out, we'll still maintain the, the day cycle. So let's get started. So in scripts-wise, scripts, scripts -wise, what we've done is create some different things. Um, we've created a steps per hour, so this is how many, hour, how many seconds it's going to be for every hour. And you could change this throughout the day and have like your daytime be a little bit longer, your nighttime be shorter. You just need to make sure you control that. We've also created uh, a couple more variables. One is the, the day type, and this is really just to keep track um, or have different objects be able to interact with the type of time of day it might be. Um, so like if you wanted a street light to go on once it gets to be a certain uh, part of the day or even time of day so like if it was evening night you could always just check that or a different time time of hour and since we're uh, talking about modifying for the day, the night day night cycle what we're going to do is have a global surface that we use and we're going to create it the same size as our room and then that way we can draw it as we as we need it and what I've done is update my uh, s surface check so every time we're about ready to draw. We're going to double check to make sure the surface exists. But in this case, we're also going to check to make sure the, since we're drawing a surface the size of the room, we're going to make sure the, the surface is, is the correct size of the room. That way, when we go into like the small house and then come back out, we're not, don't have two different sizes that we're drawing. Otherwise, we're just going to draw a small square when we come back out. And this other ver this other script I created is for the, the shake effect for the lighting, um, what we've done is create a set of offsets, and they're just random offsets, X and Y, and we'll call this, um, you'll see later when we, we call this, and this is just to get, allow us to have a, a set of offsets individually for each different object. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go look at some of the objects that we've created. So the the primary thing that we're going to use is this time of day, and it's going to we're going to make it persistent, and then that way it can be used between objects. So we can go into one room, go into one location, and come out, and just maintain the the time of day. And we're just going to double have a double check to make sure there's only one of them that exists. Uh, so the time of day will be, in the, in this case, when we create it, we're going to set the time of day f for the the overall game. Um, you could set that in a different location, but in this case I'm choosing here. And since it's going to be daytime, I'm going to set it to where it's not drawing a, a shadow or a dark uh, object at this point. We're going to call that surface just to make sure we it exists. We're going to set up uh, the location of, of our room. And I've set some local, vari uh, I guess, local object variables that are that keep track of uh, the day, evening, and night, and then just go ahead and set the ob object to have be set for the day. Since we're at three o'clock, we're gonna be during the daytime. And then we're gonna use it, instead of doing steps for keeping track of all the steps, we're just gonna set the alarm for every time, for every hour. So we also have a, a variable that we're gonna keep track to draw the surface. Um, these three, three um, we're not going to use um, just kind of experimental code. 
and then we're at the end of this we're gonna since we're setting a time within this object we're gonna set it globally in the time of day and then the day type up and when we quit the game we just want to make sure we get rid of the, the surface so we're gonna remove it there so this is where a lot of things happen for every hour so we're gonna once we get, trigger off for the next hour that occurs we're gonna increment the hour for the day make sure we're on 24 cycle and reset it so for from basically from midnight until 7 a.m. we're going to uh, make sure we're at night and the shadow alpha is where we're keeping track of the character or like the trees shadow and we're not going to draw those during that time of time of day so this other one is for the evening um, we have six hours for the evening and we're going to make it um, the surface get darker gradually over the evening and that way we can get that kind of stepped effect every hour where it's getting darker and darker until midnight and then the other is we're lightning we're going to get eventually get rid of our character shadows and object shadows over that make it lighter over that same period of time so when it's during the daytime what we're going to do is go ahead and set it to day and then set our uh, characters and objects shadows to exist and this other is we're going to set this other alarm and what this is is for that soft transition for the the morning um, and we're just changing the alpha from of the surface all the way back to zero and that way we can do it over a set of steps and make get that smooth transition back so down here what we're doing is uh, these next three lines of code we're actually just keeping track of those our character and object shadows um, we're going to move them from the right side of the screen to the left over the next course of 12 hours so we take 180 degrees and so 12 steps requires 15 degree increments um, and since our time of day starts at a certain point we're going to set that as the first first step and then have it move across the screen and here what we're going to do is change the, our shadow angle and make it higher um, using cosine and sine um, just to give that, that visual effect as it goes across the screen. So the time of, uh, and if, if you haven't seen uh, how that works, um, uh, look at one the video, I have a video of uh, creating shadows for the character. The other is since we've just set the time of day and the day type, we go ahead and set that to the global so that other objects can use it. So in, in the step event, this is where we're actually going to draw the um, set, the darkness of the of the screen, as well as create the lights. So the first thing is we're not going to draw the surface if we're uh, during the daytime or if we're in another room. Um, but if we're in the evening or the daytime or evening or night or early daytime we're going to go ahead and draw it so we're going to draw the surface and then we're going to go ahead and set it to a black with the alpha that we've been keeping track of and doing steps against that's how dark the the, the day or evening will be we're going to draw it the size of the room and then we're then we're going to set since we've drawn like a, a darker or a black surface we're going to then back out the color that we need so we're going to subtract start subtracting out the colors so instead of modifying these at each object level what we're just going to do is a with clause and then it'll capture anything that has this as a, uh, a child or a parent and then what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, set the intensity so like the color uh, the alpha level and then we're going to uh, do a couple things so this would be the general one um, what we normally draw is just an inner circle and then an outer circle and then change the opacity to that and then we're going to come back in on a third third round and then draw over the outer circle with a specific color so each object so like the the torch will have the yellow and we're going to go ahead and draw the yellow back out um, where the outer circle would be but up but up here from the specifically for the torch 
Um, since I didn't want it, I only want to draw on when it's lit, I have it checking for a specific sprite. Um, in this case, we're not going to draw anything. But this is for like a fire pit or if we wanted to add something, another light source that we could. So in the case of Bob, all we're doing is just going to draw two circles. Um, but we're going to still use the same uh, consistent terminology like a light color or an intensity. And since the intensity I don't think is 100%, is we can just draw the two circles and still get that uh, tiered effect, an outer and an inner. So we're now going to look at, um, the last thing we have is just this a gen generic light source. It's going to be just to do two tiers. Um, or actually it's just going to do the one. It's going to do the one, one color, um, subtract it out, and then add in the color that we want. So in, let's say yellow. We're going to add the yellow back in. So it's going to draw just the original um, under. And then the last is when we cycle through for the step, for every step that we're going to calculate the draw, we're going to go ahead and set everything back to normal and then reset the surface. And so the last step is actually just going to be the, you know, drawing the surface out, um, making sure it exists and drawing it out. So really these light sources, um, so like the light source of the shadow, um, what we've done is assign it to like the fire pit or the object action, which is actually where the torch is part of, more than apparent. And these are fairly simple items that they're really just used for the, um, to have consistent variables used um, for the different objects, a like color and intensity, um, and an inner and outer radius. Um, the slight offset will be for the shake, of, shake effect. Um, you could set it to zero and then it wouldn't shake. Um, if you have it higher, then it'll shake a lot more. And then this is where we're calling our script um, for those offsets. And then on this alarm event, we're going to change that offset every so often and just keep keep calling it. Update this update the offsets and then uh, call it again and then that way that gives us our, our nice little shake effect. The source x and source y and I use that for um, so like the fire pit if we just do zero zero on where the fire pits uh, origin is it's going to look kind of a little off so this way we have some mechanism of offsetting where the circle actually is located. And you don't have to always have uh, draw just a circle. You can you draw any shape sprite you want. So if you want like more of a triangle effect for like a, a street light, then you can do that. Um, in this case, I'm just drawing, doing the draw circle where in reality you can just use a, a sprite. And this last object has very really similar, um, essentially it's the same. But really the difference is this this one doesn't have any uh, parent um, and the shadow one is still going to ha it has those shadow effects on it tied to it so the, the last thing that we have is the player um, Bob I just added a couple of little things for him which is um, really the same thing as we had for the the other object we're just not going to make him look like a lighted object, but we're still going to treat him a little bit differently. Uh, so we still have the light intensity color radius and then the shake effect that we have. Um, that way we can get... Yeah, so here's just the shake effect every so often. So yeah, that's, the, that's what we've been doing. See how the shadow kind of goes across from one side to the other? Um, that was for the shadow. We're keeping track of our, our time throughout the day. We can go, uh, go go in and come back out, and we're still in the evening. Um, we're not resetting that. Um, yeah, so that's the to-do and day-night cycle. Really, the, the process is make sure you have a surface and you're keeping track of your, your time that's going throughout the day. Um, you can either do that through steps or use the alarm for the system, and then just make sure um, you're adjusting 
so you have your your globe your surface you're gonna draw dark uh and then draw your light sources and then uh, draw draw out the surface so it's uh very similar to um, doing the rain effect um but in this case you've just got certain locations on the screen that you're making modifications to so until next time uh good luck kevin